Okay, y'all, back again for another Mother's Day round of eye candy. Uh, Action Comics 600 from uh, May of 1988. Golden anniversary issue. This is my off the rack copy. Yep, just great stuff. <clears throat> Oh, more action comics. Oh, my goodness. Look at that blazer of a book. Holy shizzle. Action comics number 51. Yeah. Super high grade, of course. These modern books. That's a beautiful... Beautiful book. My goodness gracious. Wow. I think I've got two or three of these around here. Oh, didn't we just see one of these in the last video? I believe we did. Another unopened near mint to mint Detective 800. <clears throat> yes, indeed. Oh, here's Silver Surfer number 11. Uh, I bought a, a, a bunch of these from uh, my comic shop maybe 10 years ago. And this is one from those beautiful copies that I got from them. Really, really great book. Look at that. Oh, some more Superman number 22. This is from the late 80s. What? About 87, 88. Uh, I forget where I got this copy. I know I didn't buy it off the rack because it's the uh, direct sale. But I picked it up somewhere along the way might have been in a lot or something like that but at least it's uh, suits my standard of razor sharp super high grade yeah beautiful <clears throat> John Byrne greenness oh more greenness Superman the Man of Steel 101. Yeah. Death by Kryptonite. Yeah, more greenness. Let's just see those two together. How about that? Yeah. Kryptonite books. Really beautiful book. More Superman, much older though, 268. Uh, <clears throat> with Batgirl, I've got a several of these around here. I don't know which one is my best one, but this one is looking pretty darn nice. Really nice, really nice looking copy. Love the purple. Yeah, the red and the yellow against the purple. Beautiful, smashing book. Oh, here's uh, my beloved plop. Number 14. Uh, I was a huge plop head back in the day and I was so disappointed when when it was canceled I just loved it it was a great great title um, just fun 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 all the way around and you also had uh, work from uh, legendary writers and artists 
it's a great 24 issue run that I encourage everyone to seek out uh, kitchen sink uh, press uh, spirit number 26 uh, with this uh, smashing Will Eisner cover. Eisner was doing new covers for uh, this run. Oh wow. The colors, the design. What a beautiful book. Oh my goodness gracious. And again, this is from what? The mid 80s? 85, 86, something like that. So it's a modern book as far as uh, my definition of modern. Again, modern to me is anything post-1980. So you got to have that near mint to mint quality. Oh my goodness gracious. Action Comics 800. Killer. Killer blazer. Look at that. 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 Stunning. Stunning. Near mint to mint high grade. That's the way we roll, folks. Beautiful. Action Comics number one. Homage. That is a great, great book. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, well, we... Let's, we can have another one here, too. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, we can just... have a couple of them, right? Nothing wrong with that, huh? Oh, what a beautiful book. Hard to believe that's 20 years old now, but... Oh, and here's uh, The Adventures of Superman 600. Incredible flag cover. Look at that. Truth, justice, and the American way. <clears throat> but, of course, D DC has changed that now to what is it? Truth, justice, and a better world. Yeah, God forbid we acknowledge America... Again, stunning near mint to mint magnificence. <clears throat> oh, look at this now. Captain America annual. Speaking of flag covers, right? You got the Red Skull back in there. This is another one I remember getting from my comic shop probably 10 or 12 years ago. We've got a couple of these around here, but that is a lovely, lovely book. Really, really smashing, smashing book. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man 42. Yeah, I know what I think when I think of uh, Amazing Spider-Man 42, and this ain't it, but... Uh, this is a beautiful blazer of, blazer of a book. Um, the black and reds are just insane. This was a gift from someone, and please forgive me, folks. I've gotten so many gifts from so many people of so many books over so many years. It's hard to keep them all straight in my head, but that is a blazer of a book. Wow. What a beautiful, beautiful book. And, of course, it does meet my uh, extreme, razor-sharp, near-mint-to-mint, high-grade, modern book criteria. Just a, a few more. Uh, arguably, my very favorite issue of Conan the Barbarian, number 41. 
a few years ago I did a uh, what's behind the cover on this one well it starts off with this uh, shocking Gil Kane cover anyway but uh, yeah this this is probably my favorite issue of Conan the Barbarian of all time <clears throat> this is a very nice copy my original uh, that I bought off the rack as a kid is up in my uh, unbagged reader stacks the last page of this book is one of the most haunting things I have ever encountered in my 50 plus years of collecting comics anyway yeah go into my archives and check out that video What's behind the cover? Conan number 41. There you go. Yeah, just a couple more here. Ah, uh, Gil Kane tearing it up. Conan 132. Right. Gil Kane magnificence. Gil Kane lives. Yeah. Look at that. Stunning book. Really beautiful. Oh, for the love of God. The Phantom, number 74. Final Charlton is issue. This is a stunner. I agree. I bought this years ago, actually from uh, the classified ads and the comic buyer's guide. I remember. It is an absolute, absolute, stunning, stunning 9698 with the incredible. Don Newton flag cover. Uh, I also bought it off the rack when I was a kid. Um, and again, that copy rests in my unbagged readers upstairs. But this is, and I've had several more copies over the years, but this is easily the best copy I've ever owned. And it is going nowhere. If I could only have 50 books in my collection, this copy of this book is going nowhere. Yes, well, speaking of that, <laughs> uh, I guess this book needs no introduction uh, to viewers of my channel. My all-time favorite comic book. And this is actually a really really nice copy look at that razor sharp look at that look at that good god almighty Thor 207 look at the centering yeah I don't play around with this book, folks. That's my baby. And I think this is the last one. Yeah. What is it? Oh, Pacific Presents. Number two. Beautiful Dave Stevens Rocketeer. What are you going to do? Uh, I have no recollection about where I got this. But I know I've had it for 30 years. Um, there you go. All the hallmarks of the amazing high grade modern books. Alright folks. 
Thanks for watching. I may or may not do a third part today, but happy Mother's Day. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye.